Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to our first ever conspiracy podcast. Here with Daniel, Aisha, Katie, Sasha, Maz. So, which ones are we talking about? The Mandela Effect. So the Mandela Effect um, comes uh, from this idea that you have a false memory when a person recalls something um, that didn't happen or a certain phase or um, a memorabilia or TV program that they remembered that they um, from a long time ago, when actually it's not exactly the way that they remembered it. So it all started um, when many people thought that Mandela's death um, was in a South African prison in the 1980s. But in fact, he did not die in the 1980s, but in 2013. Now, this all resurfaced because when he did die in 2013, and obviously it brought a lot of media attention back to Mandela, um, because quite a few people had forgotten about him um, at the time, especially in uh, Europe and North America. Many people actually recalled him dying in the 1980s, which is when he obviously got most of the media attention. Now, interestingly, there are actually um, textbooks in schools that say that he did die in the 1980s. So that could either explain why a lot of people thought that, because obviously a lot of these people were people who obviously learned him in school, and it was very prominent at the time, especially in the 80s and 70s. So I think that's a really interesting um, like reason. I don't know what everyone else thinks, if it could possibly mean that... Um, it was a just glitch in a, the simulation. Not, <laughs> not a glitch in the simulation. Maybe they just got the textbook wrong. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he maybe he did. I mean, you never know. It's weird. A textbook has to be proofread yeah, and exactly. published. And I, I'm not sure where the textbook was used, if it was in a university or school, but it was a textbook. Exactly. So it should have been some sort of source of information. And that could possibly tell us the stuff that we learn in school may not even be true. Yeah. And all wrong. Or they want to lead us to believe something, <laughs> maybe try and um, dimmer down his power. When I was looking at it, how it's different from deja vu is that it's a group of people, there's many people yeah. who all have the same misconception. Yeah, mm. of the same and memory. Like the Mandela, specifically the Mandela story, that's how it started, but it applies to several things yeah. and that's really creepy. Because misinformation is one thing, but like a whole group of people thinking something that is obviously wrong without it having been like pushed by media or social media that's you know that's quite creepy it's interesting interesting. also how these things are like things that are so prominent in people's lives like the one that um is an example in the notes that i've been given but thank you very much by the way um (laughs) are ones that for example so this example is the queen song we are the champions and this is a song that, especially in the UK, so many people have listened to time and time again. It's something that is very much in place, I think, in maybe English pop culture. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. everyone, pretty much, I'm gonna, um, maybe not every single person, but most people remember it to say, we are the champions of the world. And I'm not gonna yeah. sing it. Exactly. But well, it does say song, that. Yeah, it, it definitely, it does. definitely does that. And yeah. it's not something that I've been talked down or I hear other people sing and I just copy. You know, I remember at birthday parties yeah, and absolutely. listening in the radio with your family. Yeah. It does say "off the world." Yeah, but I watched um, I watched a video on YouTube, the song of it, and it doesn't say it. It sings at the end of the each of the verses, but right at the very end, it doesn't. No, that is I don't it's remember it to say that. I don't remember it to say "off the world" at all. I do. I remember at it. all, like not no, even no. anywhere in the song. <laughs> don't well, ruin it. Is. I do, like. I don't know, like, the, the amount of times in primary, like, we had this one teacher who was mm-hmm. obsessed with the Queen, and, like, mm-hmm. bless her, like, every time we, like, had an achievement or, like, a party or, like, just a school dance or something, it was always, we are the champions, and that line of the world was always in it, like, I remember that, so. Um, like, I actually have an example that I found really, kind of, like, kind of a bit scary, because it was before I even knew about the Mandela Effect, and has anyone heard about the Sex and the City Mandela yeah. Effect? Yeah. Yeah. That is what I find really mis- so as a little child i used to find the word sex kind of like a little bit like <laughs> cheeky a little oh, bit, yes. you know, like, oh, sex. <laughs> and i remember like on my skybox it always said sex in the city yeah. and i just remember so intensely about how hilarious i found that it's like on it, t-shirts and yeah, yeah, sex yeah in the city. Exactly. it was just something that i it, it was just funny and yeah. I remember going to Tesco's and picking the DVD out with my mum and saying, oh, like, maybe even before I could properly read or kind of understand that was the title of the TV programme, 
and you know, I get I gave it to my mum. I was like, oh, mum, what's this? And she was like, oh, like that's Sex and the City, a TV program that I used to like watch. You know, when I was a student at uni, and it, it was Sex and the City. I remember looking at the DVD and saying Sex and the City. I remember going on my TV guide on my TV saying Sex and the City. It was something that I found. Looking back now, it's obviously st- stupid and really immature of me. But back then, that was a TV program that I found extremely funny and would try and watch just to see if the laughs and probably why I'm quite damaged now. Um, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. But yeah, and I remember actually, because I'm not going to lie, I'm a fan now. Like, it's really good. <laughs> it is good. It is a really good TV mm. program. And now I want to move to New York and get millions oh, of see. dollars yeah. in Check debt this. after uni. But anyway. Um, I, I remember spending hours trying to search it on like my Netflix and Now TV and it nothing came up and it wasn't until um, one of the main actors made the new TV show Divorce from Sky Atlantic that I actually found, wait, the correlation and then I found on Google that it was actually called Sex in the City. But otherwise, without that, I wouldn't have even known the TV programme like, would have found it. So what I'm trying to say out of all of that waffle is <laughs> even without the Mandela effect, I phys- like remember it as six in the city, and I do think the problem with the Mandela effect is a lot of people be like, "Oh yeah, I I heard that too," but with that one, there is no like reasoning to to, to why I I remember it differently. Like it is distinctively sex in the city. Yeah. What is it actually? Sex and, and the city. city. Really? It's not this in the city. It's I in have the a city. memory linked with yeah. that one as well. There's another sort of Mandela effect thing where you know the Kit Kat logo. Oh, oh How yeah. is the Kit Kat logo? How do you remember the Kit Kat logo? It's a kit thing? and then a line. Yeah, a kit. There was a hyphen. There's no hyphen. No. I know there isn't a hyphen, but there is all, I remember a hyphen. There, there is a hyphen. Yeah. No, there isn't. And it was to go along, because you know Nestle, the Nestle yeah. like T yeah. is like a long line. It yeah. was to kind of correlate with that. So you'd have Nestle at the top there and then the hyphen would go over one. the yeah, Kit there's Kat. No there's no Apparently there's never been a hyphen, but I remember a hyphen. That's like how I always remember the Monopoly man to have a Monocle, yes. You don't well, have one. Every time you have one, I'm like, ooh, money. <laughs> Another thing, because uh, I read one article and it was like, what does the queen in Snow White say to the mirror? Oh, yeah. What does she mirror, say? Mirror, she mirror. says mirror, mirror. But I've seen not magic one. mirror. Like, what I know. It's Apparently it's magic, mi- magic mirror on the wall. No, is no, no I used to have the original VHS yeah. version of this. At the Disney <laughs> shop. In York, it says mirror, mirror it on does. the yeah, wall. It does. When it you get the one. Yeah, on this VHS film version. Listen, DVD came to my family at a late time. <laughs> Listen. But yeah, um, so on this VHS, I remember it saying mirror, mirror, and I'd always reenact yeah. that scene as a kid because I just thought she looked like a boss or something like that. I've always liked that scene. I was a weird kid. But yeah, it was mirror, mirror, not magic yeah. mirror. Like, the hell? Like, why do we think it happens? To <laughs> there is some there outlandish some theory about this. Some people think it's a glitch in simulation or something. Like, yeah. people who believe that, like, we're actually in a simulation, they think that mm-hmm. so there's been a crash or yeah. something which has made things happen twice or something. I've right. heard it's time travel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like an example of time travel when little things change and stuff. Um, but, like, going back to Sex in the City... Isn't there that guy on YouTube where he made a YouTube video where he got like makeup yeah. palettes? It was on Shane Dawson, yeah. And like the perfume yeah. and, and the like box, yeah. merch. And okay, fair enough. He may have like photoshopped it and stuff, but it was a video and it was like makeup palettes and stuff where it's like been imprinted yeah. onto yeah. like the, the packet. And they've yeah, been the like batch box. made as well. So it's yeah. not just one thing that someone's just put together. It, there'll, there'll be a whole line yeah. in it. That is strange. Right, another Mandela effect that probably messes with my head. Like, right. It's kind of relevant, but like my whole family, like we all love James Bond. Like mm-hmm. we love the films, we're just absolute, we love James Bond. Do you know that iconic scene where there's a guy and like he's chairman and white cat and he's like, I've been expecting you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That never happened. What? It never happened. Sure? Wait, wait, no the, way. Um, not the latest, latest one, but the one, no, not the latest. the one in Hong, when they go to like China and like he goes to that cave and stuff and there's that person with the cat. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the one that, yeah. yeah um, the one with the white cat, and he's like, I've been expecting yeah, no, that, 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 that always happened. happened. No, nope, that, that, that scene happened. has never happened. Are you sure? Not even Absolutely like an additional DVD. Not thing. even in the, that scene has never been in any James Bond. No, it was it oh a deleted scene. Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, because I used to always find it really scary because I remember watching it, and he goes Same. down and he's like trapped kind of thing, and there's that really weird, creepy 
guy yeah. who's bald and then he's got a cat. No way. He, I can tell he, you. Does he have a cat? No, the, just the scene where he turns around and strokes the cat and was like, I've been expecting So he doesn't even have a happen. cat? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know if I he had a cat, but that scene never happened. A scene like that from the movie Bolt. <laughs> I yeah. might ruin that for you because I just what? remember, isn't that, like, wasn't it MI High? Oh my yeah. God. Which that one? TV Am program I on CBC. Am I high? I Am swear I the it? villain had a cat and he used to always say, I've been expecting. Yeah. But I no, it wasn't it a rabbit? Oh no. No, it was a rabbit. It was a rabbit. It wasn't a rabbit. It was a rabbit. It was called like I genuinely, I, it's not a rabbit, mate. <laughs> the same. See what I mean? Oh, There's a scene where he turns around. Yes, he does. I really remember that scene. Yeah. So he never says, I have been expecting you and he is a villain later on, though. I swear he's in one or more film done by James Bond, so maybe... It, I don't know. I'm going to stop being cynical, because I really <laughs> like him for his theories. So. Um, I don't know the reason why Mandela Effect happens. I, I, I don't think there's like explanations to it, and they could all be different events, and some may actually be really spooky and creepy, and some might not. But... It's uh, like how double stuff are always in one gonna, Oh, yeah. yeah. But couldn't it just be like... One person's got the wrong information and that spreads. No, because that many people can't all share a memory and yeah. leave on. It's not like I turned to Sasha and went, oh, Sasha, there's no hyphen in the Kit Kat. And then she went and told oh everybody on college. Oh my God, there's no hyphen in the Kit Kat. <laughs> oh my God. There was, I remember a hyphen. Like every time I'd see it, there's like a little um, Kit Kat. Henry VIII never ate a turkey leg. In the photo, you know that very photo where no. he's got a turkey leg. That never happened. No, really. Um, he yeah. Exploded in his coffin because he was too fat. <laughs> <laughs> that I've got that in. I swear we've got toilet light in history. No, I don't think that was. And I swear that he like all the gas built up inside him and he exploded. <laughs> Oh my god. I swear I'm not told. There is a really interesting theory as to why these Mandela effects happen. Okay, so I've got verywellmind.com, so I don't know if it's um, trustworthy, but apparently it says there is alternate realities. Yeah, I saw that one. Um, It says that one theory about the basis for the Mandela effect originates from quantum physics and relates to the idea that rather than one timeline event, it is possible that alternate realities or universes are taking place and mixing with our timeline. Mm. Or could it just be the different things like because everything like in different countries is released a little bit different no mm. so no, could it just no. be that everyone's got it mixed up from different no, countries no. I mean it kind of well, yeah there's a theory that I really like I, I don't believe it but it is interesting mm. right it's the theory it again it's like it's a, it's a simulation theory but it kind of like links back to 2012 oh. so do you guys remember in 2012 oh December 21st Friday is the end oh, of the world yeah. guys the one with like um, Jesus is coming. That kind. No, 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 no. It was the one to do with that calendar. Yeah, the yeah. calendar. Oh, the yeah. Mayan yeah. calendar. Yeah, yeah. 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 straight yeah. up being the end of the world. Uh, and, yeah. yeah. So people think that the world genuinely did, did end, end yeah. on that day. Absolutely. But like when it ended, there was like already like a they created like an alternate universe. Yeah. And they put us in that universe, and they made it exactly identical to the real world. But people think that there's been like little mistakes or like things that they got wrong, which is the Mandela effect. I don't know. That is really creepy, that. Yeah. But people like thought sex and the city was sex and the city before 2012. Yeah. Mm. But I don't know. But the Mandela effect surfaced in 2013 because that's when Mandela yeah. died. And people yeah, have been so saying. that's no, when it became. That's when it was named the Mandela mm. effect. It's always been a mm. thing. Yeah. It's just it was named in 2013. Like I said, I don't believe no, it. But actually, actually, that could possibly be true because if I'm looking at like my experience with the Mandela effect, yeah, um, I was obviously a child like before 2012, and I only <laughs> <laughs> and I obviously <laughs> like, started to realize all of these things afterwards. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. Has also, there been any I, recalls of it after 2012? No, before. No, oh. after, because that would be That's in the well, new universe. Well, so Kit speak. Kat was a hyphen. Like. That's. I Should I look at new uh, Mandela never. effects, like ones yeah. that have yeah, just been there's discovered? There will be more that have been discovered because the idea will have been like sent out that all oh, this Mandela effects a thing, and then people will start realizing things and questioning it, and then people will be like, "Oh yeah, I noticed that too." And like, "Oh, I don't remember it like that." Right. 
But side note, I don't know if this counts as a Mandela effect, but guys, when do you remember St. George's Day? Like, when do you guys remember it? I don't. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, no, not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> they mean, like, February. This is really good. Cool. I was okay, always then. told it was the 24th of April. Apparently, I it's... Curious George had never had, had a tail. tail. He's always yeah. had a tail. He never had he's a never had a tail. tail. There is a sh- I remember there that There is tail. a board never game a called Pin Put the tail. tail on... Yeah, and we'd see him in like the beginning of the movie where he's like kind of like jumping around, causing all sorts okay. of mischief. This, yeah. this is probably something that people like. Has anyone been to America before? Mm-hmm. No, but I wish. Does it? Has anyone ever heard of like Jiffy Peanut Butter? Oh, yes, yes. Jif. it's J I F. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've apparently never seen it's Jiff, not Jiffy. Yeah, but it's Jiffy. Yeah. No, no, but no, but as someone like I went to America and I remember getting excited about Jiffy Peanut Butter. That's probably. Yeah. In that Mer- might just be a thing like adults do. In like the one with Chick fil A in America, where it's, it's absolutely. It's like oh you'd think yeah. it was spelt with, as like C H I C K, but it's only with a C and not a K on the end. I've seen that K though before. Like because it's angle. it's a chicken, isn't it? So yeah. it's a chick. There's no team sketches. There isn't. No, no, but no, I, no, I, again, I think there's a team sketches because I remember always getting really conflicted as a child to why there was a T in Sketches mm-hmm. because I was like, it's pronounced Sketches, so why is there a T in it? That was just something that... Y'all are wilding. <laughs> like, you're all saying these things and I'm like, no, that never happened. <laughs> Pikachu. Genu- Pikachu. Never had a tail. Had, like, he always had a tail. No, he's not a tail, but he doesn't have the brown he, bit on it. It does. Uh, it it does. clearly because does. Like, I, would remember I had a toy of it. Like, yeah. it was a little thingy you put I on I played that one. He definitely had a brown bit on the other Yeah, yeah. Because it was like a zigzag. Yeah. yeah. I used to get up to watch Pokemon before like primary school. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> On CITV. Get a bit, yeah, every yeah. morning I'd get up early to watch Pokemon. This is slightly recent. It's when um, Forrest Gump says... Um, oh, life yeah, is life. actually is life is like a box of chocolates and really it was life was like a box of chocolates. That doesn't make any sense. But I remember in like year seven where so that would have been after two that was two thousand fourteen. Mm. So, um, and I remember everyone used to always say it in that really like southern accent, like, laugh yeah, is like a box, box of chocolates. chocolates. <laughs> you know, it was like always like something that, and it it, it, it is that <laughs> like never seen for. I just oh, remember yeah. I've it seen it once. I've seen it once. I've seen the like opening like scene bo- bit because we had to analyse it in media studies, but uh, we probably watched that bit back. I can't remember exactly what he said, but just weird. I'm trying to find new ones, but obviously there isn't. One which isn't true is where is New Zealand? People claim that New Zealand was north of Australia, but that never happened. New Zealand, isn't it? Australia is not real. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> everyone has been, they've been tranquilised on the plane and taken oh. to New Zealand. I think with the thing, the New Zealand one, it might be a bit too old for us. Like, it might have been a thing with older people, what, like they mind? thought New Zealand okay, was... Okay, this is... Sorry. I love Go on. Okay, this is something, just, this is another thing, like, everyone's going to look at me and it's going to be silence. I like music. I used to be obsessed with The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, obsessed. Yeah. No, that's fine. I had a friend who was. Apparently... The square, the, the scarecrow, didn't have a gun. What are you on? Wait, what? No, <laughs> I'm gonna rephrase that. That's the wrong way around. The scarecrow apparently does have a gun, but people remember him not having a gun. Why would he have a gun? Exactly. It didn't make any sense. Why? What the hell? He just gives the scarecrow a gun. It says, exactly. "Watch the Wizard of Oz today, and you clearly see the scarecrow brandishing a modern magnum to three hundred and fifty-seven paint of silver." I need a photo. Um, <laughs> Did he have this in the original? It's pretty prominent now and clearly doesn't appear as just this quick glimpse, which might be hard to spot. So, yeah. I need a photo. But I know. never imagined him having a gun. And yeah, me neither. It doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make no. any sense. Um, basically, I found this website called alternatememories.com and it's literally where everyone just puts, literally, like a Reddit forum where people just oh. put things that they remember oh. seeing that aren't. And it goes on and on and on. I need this because seemingly every day I remember I would something fall and down I discover that it actually was never like that. I would just fall crazy. down such a rabbit hole one, something like that. I'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. You guys want to talk about uh, another one? Yeah, we've been on Mandela. Yeah, we have like, like, like yeah. half a fucking hour. Like. <laughs> Next. Do you like one that people don't know about? Like, very unknown. Is it this one? Yeah, go on. Mum didn't know about it. <laughs> That's your so, mum. <laughs> yeah, my mum's <laughs> very. My mum doesn't very watch it. Does not know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> my mum won't even know what. Famous again in names. <laughs> right, so 
there is another theory about the, the Titanic and the Olympic. They were both ships and they looked exactly the same as each other. And they were both made by the same company, White Star Lines. But the Olympic was involved in a collision with the HMS Hulk, which was another ship. And um, the collision was the Hulk's fault, but all the like eyewitnesses of the crash uh, said that it wasn't the Hulk's fault, but no, <laughs> it wasn't the Olympic's fault, but for some reason the Olympic was still blamed for it. And so after the crash, it like, it le it lent to the left, so it w it couldn't it couldn't sail, and so the Titanic was built and <laughs> sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, they tried to re. re well, they tried to repair the Olympic, but it lost the propeller, so it was literally like irreparable. And so uh, it got docked next to the Titanic in Belfast, like before the Titanic set sail. Um, but the theory is that the boats could have been swapped to try and get insurance money for to fix the Olympic. Mm -hmm. Hold up, that's not the theory I heard. <laughs> yeah, what? Sam, I had a different theory. I had that theory. I thought that the Olympics sailed after the Titanic. No. Or just before. So basically, the Titanic... No, the Olympic was made to look like the Titanic so mm -hmm. that people would think they'd be going on the Titanic when really they were going on the sister ship and they would hope that the Titanic would kind of crash so oh. it was planted into the there iceberg. Was, yeah. There was a boat that were out at sea as well which was just carrying like blankets and food supplies and things and clothes, yeah. and it sent out locations of all the icebergs in the area, um, but th that message was held before it got to the Titanic, and the tit you would have been able to see the iceberg that the Titanic crashed into from eight miles before you crashed into it because of how clear it was, mm. and it somehow still crashed into it, mm. and it was three miles off course. Because it was know. going too fast, so didn't it? Yeah. They, they think that they purposely um, hit the Titanic so then they would get money back for um, insurance purposes which would yeah. then fund well, the other ship in the, the making Olympic even though the Olympia, yeah. the Olympia technically sank before no way. Um, but they didn't mean anyone to die well that's what some theories suggest they didn't mean anyone to, da to die but they didn't realise they actually didn't have enough lifeboats which is true because they actually didn't have mm -hmm. enough lifeboats so then it was a disaster right I heard like Again, it is this theory, which I could just call it a different variation of it. Because, again, like, it's true. They were, like, created by the White Star Line. But it was, like, the Olympic class line. So there was the Olympic, the Titanic, and then the Britannic. Mm. And people were saying, like, I've heard that, like, the White Star Line, they were already, like, they were broke. Mm -hmm. They were broke as hell. And they wanted to build, like, the Britannic to continue on the, the kind of series, yeah, the Olympic yeah, yeah. class. But they couldn't because they like really ran out of money. Like all the sponsors were pulling out. Like they were literally going to be bankrupt. Mm -hmm. And because they had Olympic on its last leg, because of the collision with the other ship, like the military ship, I forgot its Hulk. name. Yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, because <laughs> of its collision with that, it was already on its last leg. So they were like, right, let's just switch the logos, paint it a bit, and make it look like the Titanic. Yeah, they just put carpets on the floors, yeah. just, like trying to cover up like footmarks and stuff to yeah. make it like a brand new ship. Exactly, because it would have cost them way more to repair it than to just like cover it up. So they went for the easy route, which would have cost them also, less money. And they also, when they're showing the Titanic on posters and things, they only use pictures of the Olympic. They didn't exactly. use any photos of that's the true. Titanic. Exactly. I used to live in Liverpool and they're kind of obsessed with Titanic because that's where the registration office yeah. was. And they, they would always talk about how they always use the sister ship. And I just always found that funny because I was like, surely you can just take a photo of it as it's being built. And it's really scary because there's actually a photo comparison between the two yeah, ships. The yeah. only difference is the are the chimneys. The wreckages as well. One the has wreckages more windows really than the other. Like a diver went in to like grab a picture of the wreck in that lot. And on the side, right, a letter M and a letter P. Come on. Like yeah. Oh yeah, because they repainted it, didn't they? There's exactly. photos and of the it's wreckages, so obvious like, when they repainted it. Compared to it, and it's 
Yeah, like they repainted, like it's you can crazy. see the patches of paint and it lined up with where the Olympic had the damage done to it. Yeah. And like no, but are you saying that the Olympic was basically refurbished or recycled to become the Britannic? No, 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 the Titanic, Titanic was set. The Titanic was, they, they the wanted Britannic to. The Titanic wasn't yeah. built yet. They wanted to build it though, which is why they had to do this massive insurance fraud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah. they swapped the birds to get money. Yeah. There's yeah, another theory. And they, the ship that was out with like blankets and stuff, people think that it was for the people yeah. who needed food. Exactly, yeah. because the original plan was, all right, they're going to crash the ship, get everybody onto this second boat and save everybody in that lot. What, what happened with the second boat? That didn't happen. What, the... Titanic, the, no, that was really the, the boat with the blankets and yeah. stuff. Uh, I didn't really get anything on that, but it, it didn't like come into like any contact with because the nearest boat was really far away. From yeah, I know. That it's was one of the that was one of the nearest boats, and that was still far away from it. But obviously, because that was that was set off before it had sent like the locations of all the icebergs. But why yeah. did that message get held before it reached the Apparently Titanic? Apparently, they got the bearings wrong. Mm. No, Should I look so. it up with the... Yeah. Another crazy thing is, right, they're, they're claiming that, oh, like, we didn't swap it, the Titanic actually did set sail. Well, if the... Because think about it, the Olympic, right, after the sinking of Titanic, the Olympic went on sailing for 24 years. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, what's weird is, because after the Titanic obviously sank, like, they, they got loads of insurance money in the White Star and they went that bankrupt. So that's why but they were still, saying, like, oh, yeah. well, we used that money to, like... We helped fix like the Olympic because it just. How can they do that though? Up. Because they already built the Britannic, and the Britannic really was great. Like they they spent all that money building the Britannic, and it's just weird because the Olympic, a ship with like many broken pieces, the propeller wasn't even right. How would that sail mm. for another twenty four years? Exactly. Without did a flaw. They, like, they, they did the Titanic because the Olympic was unsailable. How did that go on sale exactly. for twenty four years? Exactly. For twenty four years, not even. It like was. It was basically like. Um, like if you wrote off your car, that was yeah. how much how badly damaged the Olympic. Pretty was. much exactly. And another thing is the Titanic, like obviously it's the luxury ship and everything, so you're gonna make sure that it was absolutely perfect. So this is insane. Apparently there were rumors of the Titanic being sunk even before it got set out, even before it was built, built because um, is many this people man now effect? refused oh <laughs> to work on the ship because of like strikes uh, JP Morgan which is like this big investment oh, firm yeah, yeah. is extremely corrupt and you know don't sue me um, just and yeah people were actually kind of reluctant to work on the ship before it got yeah. built because they thought that it was being made to sink yeah, and oh, yeah the rumours about it my, also yeah. there were rumours that like oh that they were planning to change like change the names or swap the ships which was because there was a massive coal strike at that time as you rightfully said and there was mass strikes no one was on like where wouldn't you want to work on the greatest ship of all time? Wouldn't yeah. you want to be a part of that? Even if it was like, oh, I, I put the nail in the wall. Yeah. Just to say that you worked on the Titanic, the and biggest luxury ship. Maybe it was never built. Maybe it yeah. was just the Olympic and they switched names. Exactly. It got sunk. There's, exactly. It's in the middle of the sea now. It could have just been another boat. And where did the blanket boat go, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Also, like, two more interesting things. Like, you mentioned JP Morgan. Right, JP Morgan, this guy was like massive, like really rich. Like he brought like first class tickets to Titanic mm -hmm. like right before it sailed. Didn't he refund them all? No, 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 no. And then con no, what happened was conveniently, like the day the Titanic was meant to set sail, he was like, oh, I'm sick, I can't Yeah, go. he got yeah. sick, that was Which it. is strange like because he, he was... He was the one conspiring behind it. That's what a lot of people think. And Which he was the one person that they were like... We're sailing like this mega rich, yeah, famous guy, and then he was like, "Oops, supplies can't come." Like, sorry, I'm sick, which is weird because like, like three days, like four days later, they spotted him with his mistress, like having a, the best time of his life. Like, and come on, the ship, um, the blanket ship is called the SS Californian. Yeah, yeah, and oh, yeah. um, it was oddly um sailing around the Titanic, but actually, um. The Californian um, was a passenger ship, so it would have been able to support the numbers of the Titanic. Yeah. So everyone was like, "Why is there no people on this Titanic uh, on this passenger ship, which is crossing Europe to North America?" It was expensive those days. There is no way a ship would be travelling without let a any ship people. Go without people exactly. Yeah. And, but weirdly, it had three thousand woolen blankets and jumpers, yeah. which wasn't planned to go yeah. anywhere, except the Titanic. Exactly. I mean. 
like I said, the original plan was that they were going to take all 3,000 passengers, put them on this boat, no one would die, they'll get the money, fine, perfect. But clearly that's they not what happened. didn't have enough life boats to transport Not even enough by heart. Um, Edith Rus- Russell, a uh, survivor of the sinking, uh, this is the unredacted part of the flight, by the way. Um, suge- uh, okay, so Edith Russell, a survivor of the sinking, was adamant that the Titanic officers assured her the California was on its way. So the officers and the California said that they did try and find it, but they were twa- 12 miles off the Titanic because they got the coordinates wrong. Yeah, like I said, they got the bearings wrong, apparently. Oh, yeah, and another funny thing about the Titanic... How did you get the bearings wrong of a massive-ass ship? They just apparently <laughs> it's were weird under the that stress, Sasha. You it's were weird that the, sh- that, that the Californian was even there. To begin it's with, like with it's, no people. It's like, oh, well, if we crash it, then... We've got to have another ship to look after people when it crashes, but why was it so far away? Do you reckon that's where they got too confident with the Titanic? Because they were like, oh, we're going to make, we're going to have like half their life boats. It's not going to sink, it's going to be fine. Do you reckon they got too confident as an excuse to like not spend that in much money? Because they knew it was going to sink anyway. Yeah. So why is it wasting extra money on resources? It's, it's, it's just funny as sink? well because wasn't the Titanic called the, the unsinkable? unsinkable. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it sank. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't sink at the Olympic time. Yeah. Well, maybe it did. We don't know this all the time. No, I believe it. I believe it. Also, another funny thing about this whole Titanic thing. Right, the Titanic, right, the biggest ship, the most luxurious, gorgeous, right? And they claimed it was unsinkable. So to make it believable, you'd think that they would have, like, loads of trials, I uh, see. Yeah. Like, test it out. No, that was not really. The first they time had the it sh- set sh- Yeah, exactly. They had the shortest trials ever. Well, they did have trials, but they were, like, one day, it's two day trials, as you see. When you're lying about something, you want to make it extra clear yeah. that you're not lying. And this is um, quite creepy. So when they found the wreck, uh, there's a stamp, 401, the ID number used for the Titanic at Harland and Wharf, which was the place where they made the boats. Um, yeah. It says that actually that this propeller that was uh, not propeller <laughs> is a boat. Uh, this stamp was actually fitted onto the Olympic during its repair mm-hmm. following the collision. So how can they remove this massive chunk of material onto two ships exactly. when there's evidence to suggest it was on the Olympic? I don't know. J.P. Morgan, corrupt, fucked up company. Um, Titanic, corrupt, where <laughs> no, they were lies from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, come on. I it's mean, there was no regulation. Exactly. Okay, so it's crazy. I was just looking because I was confused because um, the Californian it, that wasn't the ship that saved the passengers. It was the Carpathia, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I was. California. Yeah, so basically, the Californian, and this is according to Wikipedia, not anything related to this theory at all. So it's maybe a bit more um, objective. Um, so basically, it was the closest ship to the Titanic at the time of its sinking. But it's famous for its inaction. They never did anything. But why? So the ship that did come uh, to Titanic's rescue was the Carpe- Carp- Carpathia. Know, say Carpathia. Carpathia. Which, wasn't that like, that wasn't um, a passenger ship, was it? No, it was. It was Just a s- plus fairly it's small one. Oh yeah, it was, it was but it was ship. quite small. Yeah, yeah. it was but small. if the Californian was like the closest ship, Mm. How did that ship get to them before? Interesting. Exactly. The Californian yeah. was a different line. No, the Californian was a different line, like a different company oh. to the Titanic. So, if they're competitors, why then would they want why to would they want to help the Titanic? Yes. And if it's going to ruin their reputation, I mean, say they did save everyone on the Titanic. This is me insinuating, by the way. Then no one, people were like, oh yeah, the Titanic sunk, but everyone survived. One thousand five hundred people survived. They got the navigation wrong. It's actually That's famous for it not helping. Debatable though, because the company, I forgot what they're called, who are mid-tired. Like like yeah. They could have promised to like, give them some of the yeah. insurance money, mm. which would have made them want to help. Californian did oh, sink yeah. though. 1915 in the World War. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's karma, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I've just remembered another thing, right? So, yeah, linking back to the whole collecting insurance fraud, like with the White Star Line. I just remember that they didn't, uh, the, even the insurance that they did get from the ship sinking, it didn't really get them anywhere because they still had survivors that they had to pay millions yeah. to insurance um. to them. So they went bankrupt. So tell me how the Olympic managed to sail on for another 24 years if they were too bankrupt to fix it. Because exactly. they paid out all the money to and the survivors. When before the ti- Titanic sank, it was, you couldn't sail it. 
Like, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, exactly. Two people on the boat, um, they were testified in court. Uh, it's of the Californian. The Gibson testified that Stone, which was someone else on the boat, saw the Titanic in distance with the rockets going out, you know, when the ship's yeah, about to sink, right. and said, apparently, um, the t- uh, she looked very queer, as in representative of the Titanic looking very odd out of place, um, saying that, uh, and I quote, she looked rather to have a big side out of the water, meaning that it was split in half. They saw, the, the captain of the ship saw the Titanic sinking and didn't do anything. You know, he said that, oh, well, actually, you know, it's, it was probably just looked a bit troubled and it was finding its way around. A ti- come on, <laughs> a boat <laughs> tipped in half with um, rockets going out of it, you know, SOS. Oh, no, yeah, it's fine. Uh, There's a rat on the deck. It's okay. A woman panicked. There's it's people fine. falling off the side and they're like, they're just off for a swim. They're oh, bloody oh screaming. God. They're just, they're just like that. Swim. No one if got arrested. They, they let the court case drop. It's it was yeah. No one arrested for it's manslaughter. There was it's no hardly no any media attention. In fact, the, the Titanic. No, there really was. Was uh, there? Okay. So the Californian did <laughs> face. <that> back. <laughs> <laughs> the Californian did face loads so of criticism, about. and there was an investigation, but nothing came out of it. And the official um, like um, response was that because of limited time. Any action taken by the crew of the Californian wouldn't have made a difference. But it was the closest ship, so why? And, and it I was empty. Yeah. Also, the American government is corrupt. And why did the oh other yeah, ship get to the like, I, don't. <laughs> I don't believe anything they said. How has this tiny ship that was further away managed to get to this massive ship? Two to try hours save, away, to be exact. To try yeah. and save people when there was a ship that was like 20 minutes away. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. Project Rainbow, also known as the Philadelphia Experiment, was uh, started by, apparently, Einstein, because he was shipped off from Germany, I'm going to have to be really quick here, shipped off from Germany to America to help off on their nuclear program, which he actually was one of the people leading the whole um, atom bomb, so he's kind of controversial but extremely intelligent. Um, And apparently, him and some other people had this theory that they can make ships invisible. So in the war, because German submarines... um, could detect ships by obviously their telescopes or whatever, yeah. mm-hmm. whereas it was invisible, they couldn't see anything. Now this seems ex- when, when we say invisible, it's like they tried to do it so it didn't show up on the radar, mm-hmm. not actually turn it invisible. I was going to say, I was like, the name might but, be ironic though. But um, it was teleported apparently, according to these notes, um, because writers on another ship wrote letters. Green smoke covered the ship until it was completely invisible. Uh, fog gradually disappeared and took the ship with it, um, but it sometimes came back on the radars. So scientists working on the experiment had nausea due to the experiment, um, and tweaks were done to make the experiment better. There was a massive flash of blue light, and it was transported back to the Navy field in Philadelphia. S- um, so, basically, this seems extremely sci-fi Hollywood. A bunch of bullshit. But <laughs> there is so many photos on Google Images, showing oh, people submerged onto the ship, like their whole bodies, like fully onto it. And it's really disturbing. I'm Hold up, wait, I don't, wait, I'm confused, what? So the, they they're like, like yeah, I know that. But they're like, moves. there was like a chemical that. that they could use to try and make them go like off the radar. Yeah, right. But yeah. it somehow like made them go invisible, like completely off the radar and everything. I don't understand. But what does that mean? He like used the ship because he's like, like moves. That is an actual photo of someone, for some reason on that ship being actually merged into the metal, because it got teleported. It is a really difficult thing to explain because it doesn't sound true. But there's like, so there's letters and everything of like people who are on the ship, people who were witnessing the experiments happen from like other ships around. And so there's two theories. It was so hard. So there's two theories. One theory is the more explained, like, reasonable one, the fact that they used this um, material to make sure that it would go off the radar, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. There's an even more extreme Which one that, that apparently it got teleported. The material makes sense because Einstein did a lot of stuff with atoms yeah, and crazy no, stuff. That makes sense. So that makes That's sense. That's just science. But then what, yeah. what, what explains the people being submerged onto the metal? Did the material do that? Or, you know, I don't, I don't know what to think. I think it's one of these... I don't know. What I'm saying is how they got like fused to it is because it got teleported. It had to move like so quickly through like time and everything. 
that and people then, got uh, like fused the sides of the ship and everything. Oh. I guess it's like if you're if you're if you're going to the moon, you're moving mm-hmm. really, really fast, fast down yeah. So the reason why this Yo oh. Okay, now that is weird. So wow. basically why this is quite interesting from like a scientific uh, community point of view. I think well, not that I am in it, but <laughs> you know. Uh, is that Einstein did do quite a bit of research into um, speed of light and stuff like that. And it is, I think it's said that if you can travel faster than the speed of light, then time ceases to exist. So you could basically... Uh, they did, they, yeah, I that's how transportation would work. Where I got this from, basically. and I've like researched it a bit more, I got it from <laughs> the Jenna Marbles and Julian podcast. Wow. They, they were doing about it. And I made my notes off that and then researched it further. But they were saying like the exact same thing as that. Yeah. So, because tele- teleportation and time travel, they aren't that like, not, they are different, but they're not that, they, they come under the same like realm of sci-fi. Right. Mm. I'm not sure how much I can like believe this one is like credible because yeah. how long ago was this? Like a hundred years ago. Was in the, ago. no, no. It uh, was second World War, like never mind. mind. Second, second World, end of Second World War. If the they had teleportation, then we'd have teleportation now. So that's what's scary, like, for example. We would have figured it out no, by now, but properly. there are so many experiments that came to be actually true. For example, the Russian dog experiment, which yeah. I showed you, it is yeah. basically oh, they like cut a dog's head off dead and then um, made the head alive again by putting in an artificial heart and lungs. And there's videos of the dog like reacting with his eyes <laughs> open and licking and, and stuff. So it is, and it's true, it's been released. There's BBC pre- presenters doing it. It, it. You know, there is no reason to say that it's not real. So if they could have done that then, because it's illegal now, Sue, obviously, thank God. Yeah. Then. <laughs> but there why. have been, there has <laughs> been like research before or documentation for the research, which has then been lost for a really, really long time and people have rediscovered it. Because it's not the fact of like, uh, that was discovered like half discovered 50 years ago, so it must be fully discovered now. That's not how it works. Because it's got to take people to like yeah. actually believe that it happened for him to actually be like, oh, well, maybe we should do some work on this. But because yeah. it's such a thing where it's, it sounds so yeah. unbelievable, yeah. people won't. But maybe it's the government that's not letting people do it. Yeah, exactly. I like, mean, all of these are like really interesting and stuff. I'm not really sure if I believe any of them that we've talked about today. They're interesting. Yeah, so very interesting. So I get what you mean. Yeah, I'm just but saying I stand like by the Olympic one. I stand by yeah, that me too. I'm just that. saying, like, if Einstein suddenly, like, made he had this chemical and his ship teleported, he would have dug deeper into it, into this chemical. He was dead when this uh, experiment happened, though. This was, like, a hundred years well, after crew, the experiment. His crew will have dug into it, was, it then. It was just work that they looked up Einstein's work and was like, yeah. oh, well, we can make something out of this. Yeah, or usually, like, what if, like, fair enough, it did teleport, and they weren't expecting to teleport, they were just expecting to go invisible, but they teleported, and they didn't like it, they were stuck to metal, <laughs> it was horrible, so like, right, let's not talk about this again, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, do you know when you like Which it? is probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, do we have to be stuck in a wall? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, thank you. It's kind of like, do you know when you discover something about something and you're like, right, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like Me that. every day. <laughs> but according to the theory, did the people like unfeed? Please tell me they unfeed. I'm yeah. not really sure. I didn't, I didn't feel Join us next week to find out. out. <laughs> if the people unfeed. <laughs> I think that's everything. Yeah. Um, thanks everyone for listening. I was going to say watching, and we will possibly soon. have video coverage soon. <laughs>